Spreadsheet Server has the power to build financial reports using specific formulas to retrieve general ledger data from the source ERP database. In Spreadsheet Server, the GXL formula is used to create financial statements such as an income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, and so on. It allows you to provide various combinations of parameter and segment values to generate balance totals based on the desired criteria. Let's walk through the process of creating a GXL formula using Spreadsheet Server's Formula Builder. Select the target worksheet and target cell for the formula. The target cell determines the positioning of the formula and not the location. Now open the Formula Builder. The GXL panel contains four sections. First, Worksheet determines where and how the GXL formula will be inserted into the worksheet. In the Worksheet section, the worksheet and starting cell fields are populated with the selected target sheet and cell. The Clear Shift worksheet selection allows you to change how the formula will be inserted. The default overwrite option will insert the formula to the selected location in the worksheet and will overwrite any data. You can also choose to display negative values as positive in the worksheet using the Invert Sign checkbox. Second, Parameters used to filter the data returned by the GXL formula. The parameters vary depending on the selected GL, ERP. In the Parameters section, select the source GL or ERP to be applied. Some parameters are consistent among ERPs, but most change based on the use of the key value pairs available in the profile. Here, you can define the balance type, date filters, and reporting period. Use the Format drop-down to change the balance that the formula displays. You can choose to display the monthly activity for the selected year and period, the quarterly or yearly fiscal activity, and so on. Third, segments, dimensions, or specific values that break down an account structure. The segments vary depending on the selected GLERP. In the Segments section, you can include or exclude segments as necessary using the associated checkboxes. You can choose to insert segments in a row or column, update the segment display name for certain reports, and also specify values, value ranges, or value exclusions in the required fields. Use an asterisk as a wildcard or any desired syntax to determine the values, or use the ellipses button to select segment values from a list. Fourth, formula. The formula section displays the GXL formula based on the values selected in the parameters and segment sections. Now click Insert. When the GXL formula is inserted into Excel, the default settings will insert segments on the row and parameters on the column. Notice how, based on the configuration, row parameters are positioned horizontally across from the formula while the column parameters are aligned vertically above. At the intersection of the column and row is the GXL formula displaying the balance. Double-click on the formula to view how it references the rest of the information inserted into the worksheet. Similarly, you can use multiple GXL formulas in a single worksheet to create a report. Let's go over the steps to create a small report. Copy the parameters and the GXL formula and paste them into the subsequent column. In this example, we will review the GXL balances for the different periods of 2019. Use the drop-down list to select two, Repeat the steps for period 3 and notice how the value is updated. You can continue building this dynamic financial statement using different account segment values. Copy the row containing the formula and paste it into the next row. In this example, we will retrieve the balances for this list. Similarly, you can repeat the steps to retrieve the balances specific to the 5800 value. And there you have it the GXL formula in Spreadsheet Server and all its capabilities. Try it now and see the difference for yourself.